Run real-time tests. This video explains how to execute a test and monitor real-time test measurements. In load testing, multiple virtual users execute transactions against an application in order to determine the impact of this load on the performance of the servers. Load tests commonly require multiple agent machines to help spread the load during testing. For larger tests where you do not have sufficient agent machines or virtual users available with your current license, there is also the option of Silk Performa Cloudburst. To run a test in Silk Performa, you will select the Run Test button on the workflow bar, which will open the workload configuration window. Here you will see the options Automatically Start Monitoring which will automatically launch Silk Performance monitoring facility when the test starts. Check this checkbox if you have established a monitoring template and want Performance Explorer to start and stop automatically with the test. True Log on Error This generates a true log file for any transaction that produced an error during the test, allowing you to drill down through the content to analyze the error conditions. Enable Real-Time Measures allows you to view the system performance in real-time. This is a tri-state checkbox and full details on each option can be found in the help file. For the purposes of this test, we will uncheck Automatically Start Monitoring as we will cover Performance Explorer in more detail in a later module. We will also ensure that we have True Log on Error files enabled as we wish to investigate these after the test, if an error occurs. In the Agent Assignment tab, you can check if you're happy with the assignment of users to agents. From this tab, you can also select if you will be using Cloud Agents and connect to the Cloud Agent Manager to configure those settings. You will also see the Pacing tab, where you can define workloads based on transaction or session rates, depending on your requirements. When everything has been configured as required, you can click Run to start your test. You will get a New Results Files subfolder pop-up. You can select the required folder naming options for your test subfolder and click OK. When the test starts, you'll see a new Monitor tab displayed in the Silk Performer Workbench, showing a comprehensive overview regarding agent computers, user groups and virtual users in your test. You can control the level of detail shown in this monitor view, from a global view of the progress of all agent machines in your test, down to detailed information on the transactions performed by each virtual user. You can get detail for each user, such as the number of executed transactions, timers and errors as they occur. If you select a specific agent or user type in the upper section of the window, you can view details of that agent or user type in the lower section of the window. Details available include the user status, the current transaction and number of completed transactions, percentage of the work completed and so on. In the virtual user output window, Silk Performa displays detailed runtime information about the virtual users during the test. To view the output of a specific virtual user, right-click on that user and select the option to show output of that particular user. The information showing in the virtual user output window will then be specific to the selected virtual user. When the test ends, you will get a low test summary screen displayed, allowing you to move to the next step of analyzing the results file.